Celebrity sleaze. What you got, Fram? Oh, you know, filming sites from Pee Wee's Big Adventure are paying their respects to the passing of Paul Rubens. You know, in the movie, Pee Wee goes to the Alamo in Texas after a fortune teller says he'll find his stolen bike there oh, in the yeah. basement. I so remember. <laughs> here's here's the scene. Listen to this. That was a classic scene. Where can you find uh, Pee Wee's Big Adventure? I was looking online. I think you can still watch on Prime. This is not surprising. The Alamo posted, quote, since 1985, not a day has passed without visitors consistently inquiring about the location of the basement at the Alamo. This tradition owes its origins to the comedic acting of Mr. Paul Rubens from the movie Pee Wee's Big Adventure. We are immensely grateful for his unforgettable contribution to Alamo pop culture. That and where did Ozzy pee on the wall? Those are the two <laughs> yeah, questions the two. that they right. get all the time. So true. Taylor Swift announced Friday that she's adding more U.S. shows to her sold-out Errors Tour. Now, the bad news? That's not going to begin until October of 2024. In more than a year and a half, she'll be in Miami, New Orleans, and Indianapolis, three nights each. But she can't do her new U.S. shows any sooner because why, Barnes? She's going to be touring Mexico, Argentina, Brazil, Japan, Australia, Singapore, France, Sweden, Portugal, and the U.K. Yeah, listen, people. She needs time to count her money. I mean, think about this is going to break all kinds of records. It's pretty incredible. And the story you had last week about the $55 million that she dispersed among, you know, all of her, anyone who worked on the Eras tour. Mm -hmm which is incredible and a great thing to do, but it's also a smart thing to do for tax purposes for her because she would have gotten pounded. And by the way, she's doing, you know, multiple nights at SoFi Stadium in L.A., a lot of celebrities coming out, um, but there was this really heartwarming moment between her and Kobe Bryant's daughter, Bianca Bryant. One of the biggest moments at each one of her shows is she gives her black fedora hat after she sings the song 22, well, last week, uh, she spotted six-year-old Bianca Bryant and gifted her the hat. And you can see that all over Instagram. I'm going to try and catch the show. They're going to be in Lyon. She's doing four shows in Paris and two in Lyon next summer when I'm in France. And I would, I would love to try and go. I wonder if it's easier over there or just as hard. Maybe. I've been there, by the way. That's the uh, food capital of France. It's beautiful. Here's a combo some people didn't think would happen. I knew it all along because, you know, Carrie Underwood's really big into working out and she listens to a lot of rock music. Yeah, she is opening a few of Guns N' Roses shows. She just posted a little teaser on social media. Listen to this. And her voice is so damn powerful. Mm-hmm. She's posting, you know, stuff from NFL, you know, Monday Night Football as well. But yeah... Axel Rose loves Carrie Underwood, and she loves Axel Rose. That's awesome. Speaking of rock tours, Metallica began the North American leg of M72 tour at MetLife Stadium in Jersey, a 16-song set led by three songs each from the new 72 Seasons, Master of Puppets, and the self-titled Black Album. It's going to be a big tour, by the way. Uh, Eddie, Eddie Van Halen's son, Wolfgang, is one of the openers along with some other rock bands. But one amusing moment came when guitarist Kirk Hammett messed up the intro to Nothing Else Matters, after which the song was restarted. And then they had huge pyro at the end of the song um, with Master of Puppets, Seek and Destroy. Is that a show or a concert that you will go to? I would, absolutely. I have to say, I've seen Metallica, one of the loudest concerts ever. In a good way, by the way. Saw this over the weekend. Um... Angus Cloud did not die by suicide. Really? His mother says he did not intend to check out of this world. If you've been following this story, the actor, best known for his role as a drug dealer, Fesco, in Euphoria, died at his family's home in Oakland July 31st. In uh, their initial statement, the family noted that Angus' father was buried last week and he was intensely struggling with that loss. Four days later, his mom, Lisa McLaughlin, asserted in a Facebook post that her son did not intend to end his life. He was reorganizing his room, placing items around the house with intent to stay a while in the home he loved. He spoke of his in intent to help provide for his sisters at college. The mom went on and on, Lisa Cloud, on Instagram. Well, then what did he die of? It doesn't say. 20-something-year-olds don't just drop dead, usually. Yeah. Um, his head injury 10 years ago 
miraculously didn't result in death as it almost does. He was given 10 hour or 10 bonus years and filled them with creativity and love. That was part of uh, his mother's testimony on Instagram. Yikes. It's a really sad story. Gone too soon. Lin-Manuel Miranda of Hamilton fame is developing a musical based on the 1979 cinematic masterpiece, The Warriors. No details yet. He can do no wrong, by the way. Love everything that he's touched. Did you see the fight uh, Saturday night? The Jake Paul, Nate Diaz? I'm sure you no, did. No, do you have a... No, I mean, I saw it all <laughs> over social media, but... You know what? Go watch the... There's a Netflix doc on Jake Paul. Very polarizing, he and his brother Logan Paul. Watch that documentary. I think Jake Paul is kind of likable. If anything, he's brilliant. I mean, this guy was a YouTuber. He and his mm-hmm. brother who did pranks... And then he fought a YouTuber, and then he was like, oh, I can actually fight. And then experts were saying the same thing. You can fight. So he started training. It's crazy. And now he's like one of the biggest names in boxing. Where's that documentary? It's on Netflix. Oh, okay. I think it's pretty new. And at the end of it, he loses his first fight. And he was, so I guess he was six and one going into Saturday night's fight, which Nate Diaz basically was carrying the torch for all the MMA guys who he's beaten and talking about how, you know, he's disrespecting MAA and this guy's about to find out what it's about and blah, 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 all this hype. Like, I'm going to take you out, brother. And Jake Paul kicked his ass. Wow. It's, it's, an, it's an incredible story to watch what these guys have done. The Logan, Logan Paul's a little out there, um, even more, I think, polarizing. But Jake Paul seems like a good guy. He's brilliant at what he does. A couple of quick stories. I um, thought this was interesting. Tony Soprano's yacht from season one of The Sopranos is for sale. The broker for the listing says he gets a lot of fans who just want to see it, but aren't necessarily interested in buying it. But it's for sale for two ninety nine nine. Barnes. Do you think that's a steal? I don't know. I don't even remember the yacht. I don't either. Finally, sources say Ariana Grande and Ethan Slater were sloppy about hiding their affair on the set of Wicked. What's even worse is that they went on frequent double dates Jeez. with their respective spouses. And, of course, now they're ghosting their spouses. That's it's a really sordid tale if you start reading into it and really quite sad. Yeah, if you're having an affair and you're going on double dates with the person you're having an affair yeah. with spouse, that, that is just pretty effing bad. It's called betrayal. That's your celebrity sleaze. The Morning X. 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 With Barnes and Leslie. 99 X.